Howdy folks, how's it going? So I just learned something new, very interesting today. Uh, the moment you transfer name, yeah, you've done your thumbprint for the buyer and the seller, the moment you transfer your name, your road tax is invalid. Yeah, so you don't really need to uh, bring your road tax disc to, uh, to get it chopped or whatever it is. It's all online, your road tax is invalid. So the new buyer can actually do their insurance and road tax right away on the spot and uh, take the car and, and go and just make sure you're paid for it <laughs> before you release the car. Wanna hear something uh, really weird? I almost forgot to uh, get uh, to ask for the balance payment of the uh, Bluebird before it left my house the other day and uh, I completely forgot that there was still some, uh, some money owed to me and thankfully the buyer remembered and then handed it to me and I'm like, oh yeah, 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 that's right, you owe me some money. <laughs> I was so um, happy that, you know, the car was going off. Uh, happy and sad. I was kind of happy and sad, I have to admit. I mean, it's a very, very nice car. It's it's really brilliant. And he just messaged me and said that uh, the car is safely back in his hometown and he took it to the mechanic and the mechanic was very impressed with the car. And that, that to me, is says a lot. When, when your own mechanic is like, wow, where did you get this? Uh, that makes me feel really good. And uh, why I'm doing this video is also in, in addition to what I just mentioned about the uh, JPJ um, road tax cancellation the moment you change name is that uh, this is probably the last time I'm going to be driving the Corolla SE. Yeah, my rock and roller is heading off to uh, serve a new master and uh, she has served me so well. I, I'm really, uh, you know, there's two cars that I feel so such an emotional attachment to. Three, sorry, the the, the E39 as well. I've, you know, so it's just I, I don't know how to put it into words, but I'm very happy that you know somebody else is going to be able to experience this amazing car and um, you know love it for all it's it's worth and and um, it's worthy of it. That's for sure. And, but I'm also a little bit sad because a lot of time, effort. Okay, let's not talk about money, yeah. But yes, that too. A lot of time and effort was spent on this car and uh, it, it's really, really one of the best um, Japanese old school cars that I've ever had in my life. And uh, probably the only reason why I even considered letting it go was because I just picked up another uh, Japanese uh, old school classic. As you know, the Sentra is being done now, also a 1.6. Uh, also the same configuration and uh, pretty much the same segment of vehicle uh, back when these cars were new in the early 90s, same segment. Um, so, you know, why, why keep two? That's just being greedy. Uh, I might as well just uh, concentrate on one and this car is done. This car is so done. If you remember, I drove it to Juru and back and it was a cakewalk. There was nothing, nothing went wrong. Um, everything went right, even even the emotional aspect of it. People were looking at the car, uh, coming up behind, coming up at the side, looking at the car because this car not only drives really, really well, and if you remember correctly, when I got it, it didn't look very good. It was an ugly duckling, but it's turned into a swan because I remember saying that I wanted this car to look as good as she drove, and uh, she does. She really, really does. Now, yeah, to me, that... that that feeling is priceless. I, I'm uh, so happy that um, I managed to take this car all the way from Sungai Petani Kedah and uh, do it up. And now it's found a new buyer without me having to even actively sell the car, if you know what I mean. The, the car sold itself, which to me is uh, a heck of a reward. A heck of a reward. And it, 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 it just goes to show how... Listen to that. Gotta put an S-Flow on the uh, Sentra as well. S-Flow exhaust pipes, mufflers are awesome. Anyway, it just goes to show that there are people out there who are still passionate about old school cars. And that does my whole heart good, you know. I've been doing this now for more than 20 years and I'm so happy to see that there are still people out there who appreciate old cars. And not to say new cars are bad. I mean, I just test drove the brilliant Mazda CX-30. Uh, it's just that there, there's something about old school cars that, that will always have a, an appeal, um, for want of a better expression, that it tugs at your, your, your emotional heartstrings. You know, it's left brain, right brain. I think it's your left brain that would want it, not your right, or is it the other way around? I can never remember. I'm a little bit dyslexic. <laughs> 
So, um, yeah, it's a, it's a swan song. Uh, swan, yeah. Pun in, uh, no pun intended. It's a swan song for this car. She'll be going off very soon. Uh, within this week, actually. Yeah, so this is quite possibly the longest drive that I'm going to have with the car. And uh, like every drive, whether it's short or long with this car, I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed it immensely. Just so nice. I mean, this car is so well sorted that it it beggars it beggars belief. And I hope the uh, I hope the new owner will, will actually uh, appreciate how much has gone into this car. Blood, sweat, tears. Blood for real. Yeah, I cut myself a couple of times doing that. Just cut myself DIY. But uh, definitely a lot of sweat. No tears. Um, I'm not very 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 sad. Just a little bit. Uh, I'm more happy than anything. I'm happy this car is going to somebody who's going to appreciate it because, like I said, I didn't have to actively sell this car. Um, this buyer just messaged me out of the blue and asked if I would be willing to let it go and made an offer and the offer was good. Uh, we negotiated a little bit, but uh, basically I, I said this was my price and if you want it, please let me know. And yeah, next thing I know, there's, I get a... I get a message saying that there's a, a screenshot showing that there's already a deposit in my account. Sight unseen. So, testament to the goodness of this car. And also a lot of trust which I appreciate. And like I said, if you trust me enough to actually buy one of my cars, uh, sight unseen, and put down a deposit for it, I'll make sure that everything is sorted for you before you take delivery of the car. Like, like the Bluebird, which is back 400 kilometers away now. 400 kilometers away from me. But uh, made the journey, no problem. Uh, the buyer told me that the, the drive was fantastic going back. And that does my heart good again. So, yeah, I'm very happy, really. And thank you so much for following the journey of the Rock and Roller SE. Uh, you, you, you all have been with me every step of the way. And I really appreciate that. So, yeah, I... Uh, Sorry. <laughs> I'm getting a bit choked up. Howdy folks. So today, yeah, would you believe it? Shush crow. We bid a fond farewell to the Rock and Roller SE 1.6. I'm you know what? This is probably one of the best cars I've ever owned. Quite an incredible car actually. And uh, if you remember, I actually um, didn't get it like this it took a while um, it was a little bit of an ugly duckling when I first got it all the way from Sungai Petani Kedah and uh, through sheer grit and determination not to mention a little bit of insanity I got the car looking like this and it's just been incredible ever since uh, had a long distance drive to Juru and uh, it was a cakewalk not a single thing went wrong and you have to remember this car is from the early 90s and it's still driving so well. I tell you, when, when, when Toyota built this Corolla SE8092, AE92, it, they did a, did a pretty spectacular job. And uh, would you like to see the heart of the AE92? Yes, I shall show it to you. It's as old school as you get. So as you can see, the interior, I got it like this. It was still in very, very good condition. Didn't have to do much, but uh, what uh, what lies beneath is what counts. Oh, if you want to see the back seat, the also very, very nice. But uh, yeah, this is probably one of the last times that I will be shooting this uh, rock and roller. The new owner will probably take delivery on Friday. There she is, that's the grounding cable I put in. An amazing engine. Uh, yeah. DOHC 16 valve 1.6 just so so amazing one of the best old school engines out there if I should say so myself still with the original Toyota motor oil sticker and the factory plate which you can see says AE92 yeah a lot of new parts as you can see latest one was that distributor and yeah, lots of new parts have gone in. So yeah, it was a labor of love. But uh, it's paid dividends for sure. What an amazing car. It's very light, so it feels very, very quick. One of the quickest cars I've ever owned actually, to be honest. Yeah, many of you are not sure about the Vosen wheels, but I like them. 
and like I've always said alloy wheels on your car are, are a personal choice it's entirely up to you put whatever you want but what an amazing car what an absolutely amazing car I hope the new owner is going to appreciate this car as much as I have it's really been a pleasure so thank you for joining me on the journey of the AE92 but looks like it's gonna be goodbye I'm very happy I'm very happy that somebody actually bought this site unseen just based on my videos such an amazing car yes I can honestly say I will be missing this car quite a bit it's just so nice it's one of those cars that you actually look forward to driving look at that as old school as they get so again thank you for joining me on this AE92 journey don't worry there'll be more weevils coming lots more gonna be happening very very soon in the meantime you all take care be safe be cool thank you for watching and I'll talk to you all soon bye bye